Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing another haul video. Merit Beauty reached out to me and asked if I was interested in trying some of their products, knowing that they are a clean beauty brand and I've heard really good things about their products. Um, I was really excited to jump on the opportunity. And so the first part of this video, I do want to spend some time on the products they've sent me and I'm actually wearing most of their products today. Uh, I am liking it so far, it's been about an hour uh, since I put this on. So the products all came in this really chic hobo bag. Now there's nothing in here right now because I took everything out and put it on my vanity. Isn't this just so versatile? I can think of so many ways to use this. And if nothing else, I'm just gonna put all my makeup in here and take it with me when I travel. This is great. Um, it looks like something you can wash and just keep reusing forever and ever. Um, so Mary Beauty sent me their five minute morning makeup routine. It consists of several products, so I'll go through each one of them uh, with you guys. The first product I have is the Minimalist. This is their complexion stick. You can use it as both foundation uh, or concealer. I use it as both today. I'm gonna come a little bit closer so you guys can get a better look. I am really impressed with the coverage I got from The Minimalist and I actually have some light bruising right here and I don't think you can see it. And what I did was I applied this as foundation sort of all over the face and then after I blended it in, I went back with this and just dabbed it. And the reason why I'm bruised there is from my acupuncture appointment. Um, depending on the individual and what your condition is, sometimes you can get bruising. Um, I get acupuncture done right here on both sides for sinus reasons. Um, you guys know, those who have been watching me for some time now, you know I have bad allergies and they affect my sinuses. Um, so, so yeah, just a little uh, tangent here. Uh, that is why I wanted to kind of talk about that so it was effective at concealing bruising and I want to show you too um, you know I have some blemishes here let's go in with the stick and just dab it lightly so it can also be effective at concealing redness and I don't think you need to go to blend it in the consistency of the product is thick enough that you can just dab it and leave it be. Um, what I would do, depending on the situation or what the blemish is, is I'll go back and set it. And I feel like right now for demonstration, I don't need to do that. Yeah, I was really impressed with this. And it blended very well when I used also Merit's uh, foundation brush, or I guess they call it the blending brush. This brush is made up of synthetic fibers and is made in China. Once I applied the product on, I went in and did short swipes uh, fairly quickly and it blended very nicely. And this is fairly soft um, and it's angled as well. So after I applied the product um, from the stick, I just went in and did some swipes and worked it in pretty quickly. The brush is also angled so getting to these areas here was pretty easy and also the brows too. Um, I sometimes have the tendency to just overdo it up here and cover up my brows. I do my brows first before I do concealer and foundation. So it helps when a brush is angled like this as well. Next I have their highlighting balm in the shade Day Glow. So I just went in like this to all of those highlighting areas, applied it, and then went back to blend it in. It was really, really quick. Um, depending on how what your preference is and how you use it, I didn't actually even feel like I needed to go back into the cheeks and blend it in. Sure, this area here and maybe a little bit here, um, it's just really easy to use as well. What I'm gonna do is another video after this haul and just dedicate it to Merit Beauty and also demo it for you. I'd like to first try this um, because I wanna see how it wears in the several hours to come and then include all of that in the dedicated video. The next product is their cheek shade in the shade Beverly Hills. 
This I applied using a finger, but you can do, you know, like a swipe on your cheek or dab it on your cheek, then blend it out. You could also use this brush here, although if you do use it for a cheek shade, you probably have to do some cleaning before you use it again for foundation, um, but that is an option as well. And all of their products are unscented, by the way. The next product I'll talk about is the Tinted Lip Oil. This is in the shade Pink Beet. For a tinted lip oil, it is very pigmented. You know, I think back to the tinted balms that I have. I think this is kind of an exception. It's very, very pigmented. And I'll show you a swatch of the cheek shade as well. quite light but you can build on this and if you put it on your lips it can serve as like a base shade uh, before applying the uh, tinted lip oil and while I'm at it I'll just swatch the highlighting balm as well so this is the day glow and also the complexion stick And you can also blend out with your fingers. It's very easy. And the last two products I have from the set is going to be the Brow Pomade, which I did not use today. I'll definitely include it in the demo video uh, of the set. And then this is their mascara. It's lengthening, also has some volume, and uh, I am pretty pleased with it. I also find the wand nice to use. It's long, slender, and I want to say, I hope I'm not imagining this, I feel like it's tilted slightly. Maybe I'm imagining this, but it was just nice. It was nice to like kind of wiggle at the base of the lashes and build the product up. I feel like this is one of those mascaras where after a handful of uses, it starts to get better and better as you kind of break into the mascara. Well, I'm very excited here. Um, having had the makeup on for a little bit now, it feels good on the skin. Um, I'm all about that nice coverage and the natural glow I'm getting from it. Uh, the tinted lip oil too, the fact that it's so pigmented, I am liking it. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think below of this like initial impression with Merit Beauty. Um, the whole idea behind the line is that it is minimalist and you can get your makeup done quickly without any fuss. The whole idea is that less is more. And a handful of these products that I just showed you is made in South Korea, and a few of them are made in the States. In the dedicated video, I will talk about each one, uh, where they're made, shelf life, uh, more extensively. The next product I have here is from Kogan Do, and I didn't even rip the sticker off yet, but this is their Four Looks Mineral Eyeshadow Palette. I've tried all the shadows, and uh, I quite like it. It is very, very smooth. One of the ingredients um, of the eyeshadows is hydrolysized collagen, uh, and so I associate hydrolyzed collagen with my smoothie because I put it in my smoothie every day but it also gives me the sense that well if collagen is something your skin needs if you're able to apply it through makeup on your skin I mean that must be that must be nice right that must be a good thing um, but yeah so so far I am impressed with the eyeshadow palette I do have some more thoughts on this like I think it can include like a glittery or more shimmery shade um, to add, or at least to give you the flexibility to get you more dimension in your looks. Um, however, the looks that I did get, I do like. So I will do a try on new makeup video, um, a second one anyways, I did one last week, uh, using this palette and some other makeup that I have that I haven't gotten a chance to show you guys yet. Um, so, so far I really like this. I think this one has kind of gone under or flew under the radar a bit. There was like some excitement when it was first announced, but I just didn't see that many people talk about it or actually get this palette. Um, hopefully you guys are interested because more information is coming soon. And this is made in Japan, by the way. And the next item I have the Westman Atelier Le Nude. This is the new lip suede. And it is a nude color story. I already have a video up 
uh, using this, talking about this, uh, but if you haven't seen it, it does come in four shades. The application or pigmentation is quite sheer, with the exception of possibly this top shade here. Um, the top shade does perform, is buildable, and does perform more like a sheer lipstick that you can build on to get more pigmentation. The rest of these are more like your lip enhancers. Um, depending on your natural lip color, you might find a shade that is basically your lips but better. Uh, this was the case for me with this bottom shade here. It was definitely my lips but better. Um, the other ones are, well, they have a blurring effect, I find, and they do plump your lips. And that was really nice. I thought my lips felt really, or they looked really juicy and they felt really hydrated. It's a very comfortable, beautiful formula. And even though these are sheer application, you can still build on them. The lighter shades you can build on too, although this one, you know, won't really show up that much on me, but the pink one, I, I can see it a bit better with a couple more applications. So the lip suede is sold out in many places right now. It is still, however, available at Cosbar. So if you're interested, go check out my video and I'll also have a link below to Cosbar. So the next two items I have here is still in the box and I think I was going to do like an unboxing video. You know, I was planning on something and I forget now, but I think it's most appropriate to put this in a haul because I did, I did buy this. <laughs> um, these two are from Beautylish and the first of the two items comes wrapped like this. And I think some of you guys have an idea of what it is, especially those who collect this type of item. It is the Koyudo BP14 foundation brush. Um, I am just slowly, but I think surely, collecting uh, many of the Koyudo BP brushes. If you guys recall, it started with the uh, BP, also Koyudo BP13 brush. And this brush for me is has triple duty. Um, I use it for blush and most recently for bronzer, but also for foundation. And I love to try this with both the uh, Westman Atelier Vital Stick Foundation, Vital Skin Stick Foundation, and as well as the Merit Beauty uh, Complexion Stick. Yeah, love this. This is undyed goat hair. This brush here, also meant for foundation, is uh, made up of undyed goat hair as well. But I think it'll fluff out a little bit because this brush too, when I first got it, was more like this. And it was a little bit flatter. So this is the two, this is 14, and this is 13. I see myself using this to try to blend this out, work these areas here. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll find just the foundation uh, for this brush as well, because you never know. Um, I remember when I first got, going off on a tangent now, but when I first got this here, which is like a small uh, concealer highlighter uh, brush from Koyudo, and this is made up of only synthetic fibers. I used it to blend concealer under the eyes, and I thought it was okay. I think it did, or it covered these areas pretty well. I could really get to it. I could also dab this into finishing powder and just um, get it into these areas that sometimes the all over, you know, powder face brushes um, don't get to, right? Like you kind of miss it as you're going through. So I thought this did an okay job. However, since I started using the Beauty Counter Skin Twin Concealer, I find that it works better, this brush works better than the Sonia G Kayaki brush set, um, specifically the mini base. The mini base is excellent uh, with concealer blending. It's excellent. But somehow, I think this does a better job specifically with that concealer. So you never know, maybe one day there's gonna be a foundation where this brush is gonna be perfect for it. Um, so I'm excited, the collector in me is very excited that I have another BP brush. The other two that I haven't shown you guys is the BP33 and the uh, BP, I think this is 01 or 02. These two brushes are branded as Kihitsu, as you can see. Uh, the reason is it's a little bit complicated, but basically Kihitsu is manufactured by Koyudo. So these brushes have the same specs as the BP Koyudo brushes. 
but they're, they seem to be discontinued with Koyudo, or at least they haven't been making them. Um, maybe they'll make a comeback, but for now, if you wanted the uh, BP-33 or... I'll check, I'll confirm if this is like the 01 or 02, or perhaps even 03, but I'll check. If you wanted these brushes, you can get them under the Kihitsu brand name. The second item is from Sonia G. This is her limited edition brush holder. Well, it is limited edition initially, but these are so popular that she might actually come out with more later. It's possible. And this is the, it's still wrapped. Um, this is the Cranes Over Fuji Mountain. I think that's what it's called. It's basically my second one. The first one that I got is right here and it is full. If I want to fit these brushes nicely in here, I might be able to put like a thinner, yeah, not really, like maybe an eyeshadow brush. Can probably fit two. And if you are, or when you are a Fude collector enthusiast, um, you start to accumulate brushes, you just can't stop. You keep buying brushes. <laughs> and this is exactly what happened here. And man, I, I'm doing it pretty slowly compared to some of you guys watching. Uh, I know you guys have a ton of brushes. They're just exquisite and beautiful. I'm just, you know, I still consider myself just budding, just starting. Um, I was not going to get a second one of this brush holder. When it was first restocked, uh, I, I skipped it actually because I wanted others to get a chance to get the brush holder and it's quite an investment as well. Um, but I was, I wanted other people to get a chance to have it. And then when it was restocked a second time, it just, it calls to me, you know? It's just one of those things. It's a, it's a splurge, but it's just one of those things, you know, you either like it or you don't. And, and I like it. And I found that my brushes need another home. <laughs> and the last item is not a haul item. I actually won a giveaway from Fude Beauty. So we're really on a roll with um, Japanese brushes, Jap Japan made brush holders. Uh, and so they ran a very generous, a very exciting brush giveaway. Um, so I entered in and I was very lucky. I won, I'm so excited. Um, I do plan to have a dedicated video to this exquisite, beautiful, beautiful brush. And uh, just do some comparisons. Uh, put on some powder, demo it for you guys. So this arrived wrapped in a washi wrapping paper. So Japanese like paper with that uh, Japanese style sticker here. And then the box itself just makes my heart beat faster. <laughs> uh, the brush is from Chikohodo and it is their MKMO brush in the carp or koi design. Before we look at the brush, I just want to show you. Isn't that just amazingly beautiful? The attention to detail in Japanese um, like presentation, in product presentation, their boxes, their wrapping, all of it. As for the brush, as you guys can see, I have not used it yet, I have not washed it. I really have to bring myself to do it. Um, this is this is Michi. This is not going to be one of those brushes you're going to just have sitting on your vanity so that you can look at it. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to use this. And I showed this on my Instagram and I did like a kind of like a short video rotating it. When you get to certain parts where the fin, you see these parts here, it just has that silver reflective rainbow shimmer, if you will. That amount of detail just, it's so beautiful. And I can just keep looking at this for a very long time. Fuda Beauty, thank you so, so much. Um, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna share that experience with you guys. Uh, if you have this brush, let me know what you think of it and what is your go-to use for it. I think the MKMO is quite similar to the Beautylish Lunar New Year brushes. I'd have to see what the specs are and do some homework before my next video where I use this brush. Um, but I do believe once I wash this, it's gonna wake up 
and it's gonna be fluffier. Uh, this is made up of squirrel hair. Is it blue squirrel hair? I have to check. Um, so I feel like the hairs are the same across these three in terms of like where they come from, what kind of natural hairs. And I just wanted to do this before we go. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me indulge. Those are all my items as part of the haul. More to follow on Merit Beauty as well as the MKMO Chikohoto brush. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a great weekend and a good start to the week. Talk to you guys very soon. Bye.